Hello friends, recently I shared some of my latest workflow for generating texture for existing 3D model, same as this, or let me open this one, okay, or generating 3D model based on 2D photo, okay, so both of them are done in Comfy UI, so one of them is for generating 3D model based on 2D photo and another one is for generating texture for existing 3D model. So for uh, generating 3D model from the photo, there are many different solutions. We have some solutions that um, we can install and run them locally on our machine or we have some solution to use some commercial service and use them as the API. The best solution and the highest quality, maybe not the best solution, okay? The highest quality that you can get is using the Tripo AI. But today, okay? So today is the last day of October. Uh, and for installing the Tripo AI, just you should go to the manager, search for Tripo. And here you can find the Tripo for Comfy UI and click install. Go to the GitHub repository and here you can find the link. Okay, so you should get a API key from Tripo. So you should go to the Tripo website, open account, and from this page, go to API key. Okay, here you can generate a new API key. And at this moment, this is my API key. And you can copy the API key here. So go to the Comfy UI and for the workflow also, you can find the workflow in the GitHub. So here is the workflow sample, go to the workflow. There are four different workflow and you can see the difference. So after loading the workflow, just you should paste the API key and press Q. After that, it will upload the image to the server and all the processing will be done in their server and they will send you the 3d model really really the 3d model quality is very fine and really it's very useful and i like it okay now i want to go to another solution for generating texture okay for my 3d model okay so for this part, I use the Comfy UI Paint 3D node. So inside the Comfy UI, okay, and this is the workflow that I have. You should go to the manager, click on custom node manager and search for Paint 3D. Install this extension and also open the GitHub repository. In the GitHub repository, please, please, read all these important information because at first you should make sure that uh, you are using same python version same pytorch version xformer and call in on your computer and you should do this setup <clears throat> so if you have this environment this requirement for your environment then you can install the paint 3d uh, also if you like you, to support me, I have uploaded my Comfy UI portable version with Paint 3D for my Patreon member. So if you join my Patreon, you can access to uh, my portable version that I have activated the Paint 3D. And you can download the portable version easily and run it on your computer. So um, after installing, you should download two control nets. Okay. Uh, the first one is uv post control net okay and actually this control net is our key for generating texture for our 3d model okay let me show you here oh let me go to my document ah i have it here so um this actually this is the workflow that they suggested us uh they will, they will define two camera, extracting depth map, 
generating two image, projecting image onto our 3D model, baking the texture on the model, and after that using this control net. So this control net is working with position map. So it's UV map and also normal map. So it can define and it can understand that what are the angles. And after that, it can equalize and remove the shadow from the texture. So this is the control net that we have to use. Also, you need the depth control net and in paint control net for ST1.5, and yeah, already you have them. Uh, maybe you have them, and if you don't have them, you can download them from this link. Uh, and about the workflow, let me show you inside the Comfy UI. Okay, here you can load the checkpoint, writing your prompt for the texture loading the control net model and sending them into this context also you should load your 3d model from here you can write the path of the 3d model name and also extension so after loading just press q so it will automatically generate two depth map generating render and projecting the render on 3D model and baking them on 3D model. So this is the first pass, but also there are some outer steps. One, two, three, four, and five. So this workflow will repeat this for five times. So it will make sure that all angles of our 3D object is covered. So finally, we have some texture like this but there are some shadows some lighting on this texture and also there are some seams that you can see here so it will send the texture into the last step so in the last step uh, you should load the this control net model paint 3d uv pose and it will try to equalize the texture but Unfortunately, it's not working well, and I saw that there are some problem, actually for some objects with hard surface, and I tried to make some change in, in the main workflow. Uh, so finally, it will generate the texture, and also, I forgot to tell you, if you upload 3D model without any UV map, it can generate a UV map for your 3D model automatically and all will be done in comfy ui so um, this is the solution that i used for generating texture based on my 3d map and also if you have more questions you can contact me at my email and also you can check my patreon and linkedin page oh i forgot to tell you um, this document okay i'm working on this document this is based on Miro, and I have shared the link of this document in the description, so you can access to this document. I'm trying to make some mind map and flowchart for this process. So here you can find some information about the pipeline for generating 3D model from image, okay, traditional photogrammetry solution. And these, these are some more explained about uh, creating and generating 3D model based on 2D image with AI models. So in these two images also you can see these are the steps for generating 3D model. At first, there is a model with the name of multi-view diff diffusion and it can generate four, six or eight different images for you. It's dependent to the version or model of this checkpoint after that maybe you can upscale and refine the image extracting the normal or depths and after having this information we can process and generate some 3d mesh based on this information there are many many different solutions um, the best extension for conf ui because also here you can see for API, we have two solutions. We can use Rodin and also Tripo AI. 
um, for running the routine, I had some problem. But uh, for using the open source solution inside the Comfy UI, we have this choice. We can use the Float CRM and also 3D Pack. Uh, 3D Pack 3D Pack is the most best package for generating 3D model inside the Comfy UI offline on your computer. Okay, so actually, Mister, for example, he has collected many different extensions and solutions and GitHub projects that are related for generating 3D model and he collect them all together, make some custom notes for us free and we can use them. So please check this link and you can find some great information. Also in the next videos, I want to go through more detail but uh, please check this document. So you can see the first step is generating multiple view, analyzing image. And the reason that um, I am separating these different steps is because sometimes we can use different models or different technique for doing each steps. And after that, providing and feeding the data for the next step. There are some solution for optimizing and reprocessing the mesh inside the Comfy UI. And this is the extension for unwrapping, for painting on the object. For example, here, the first solution is 3D pack for generating 3D object with texture. The second one is paint 3D that I told you. We have a tool with the name of a stable projector zero. It's a standalone application and also it can it's working based on a stable diffusion it's it's also it's a very great tool inside the 3d studio max you can use tight diffusion inside the blender you can use comfy ui blender ai node after that uh, we should create pbr texture again we have many different solutions also i have a video on my youtube for creating pbr texture inside the comfy ui Rigging animation and end processing. So I will try to update this document so you can check this document and uh, also please check this part because um, every time if you, you want to install and run some extension that is related to 3D, you should make sure that your Python version, CUDA version, PyTorch version, Torch Vision, Torch IDEO and some other dependency are compatible with your extension. And this is the reason that I have one Comfy UI for, for Paint 3D. I have one another Comfy UI for running the Comfy UI 3D pack. And I have one another Comfy UI for um, running a stable diffusion, flags, control my controls or other things. Uh, so until now, until now, it was not possible for me to install all these extensions over only one Comfy UI. So until the next video, take care. And if you have any questions, you can leave, uh, write in the comments, check my LinkedIn, or if you'd like to support me, join my Patreon. Hope to see you. Bye.